This video is about Windows 10 support because it's being misrepresented by the pundits with the exception of this one in Computer World. This article here which will be linked in the video description. This guy is actually, this guy Kaiser, he's actually going through the issues. Okay, but your chirp boys like Ed Bot and ZDNet they don't go through it. And unfortunately, because of the way they've got to word their articles, this text title is misleading just like it is in ZDNet. It makes you think when you look at just the headline, oh, if I get Windows 10, I'll get 10 years of support. That's not true. Windows, Microsoft is not making that claim. Okay? So what kind of claim is Microsoft making? And it's not final yet. So what is the claim? Well, this site, which you'll also find a link in the video description so you can read it for yourself, is what Microsoft, the author of the software, and the one committing to provide the updates, this is what the source says. I mean, you guys know me by now. You know, believe what you want, like what you want, do what you want with respect to the Bible, but know the source. Okay, that's no less true when you're talking about the Windows Bible, right? So here is Windows. Microsoft.com is the source text. Okay? Now, they word their stuff in poorly, okay? But people have gotten used to it. You've gotten used to what it means, and this article here is quoting this here. So now you've got to go to the source being quoted to find out what it really means. That's what we're doing now. Windows Lifecycle Fact Sheet. They've been maintaining the same site for years. Okay, and as you can see, they're saying, hi, we are going to stop providing updates. When? for which version of Windows, okay? And they have their own vocabulary, which you have to learn, okay? And as you can see, it goes back pretty far in time. Windows XP, if you have Service Pack 3, will end its mainstream report back in 2009. And then the security updates, which is their definition of extended report, which you can read here. Don't take my word for it, please. That ended on April 8th, 2014. Okay, so this is going back all the way. So it's got a very stable idea of definition in the minds of everybody. However, this is the latest, which is what this article is about. This is the latest addition to the life cycle fact sheet which is end of support for Windows 10 released in July 2015, really the end of the month. Mainstream, meaning features and bug fixes, support will end 2020, and the extended support will end 2025. Now, if that's all you read, you're going to think that, oh, I can upgrade Windows 10 for free, and then I'll have support with security fixes all the way to 2025. Not so fast. You see this? Too little, see, highlighted in black, barely readable. This is very typical of Microsoft. The really important stuff is in small print. Those two little asterisks. Now, what that means in law, okay, and in a sense, this is a quasi-legal commitment. It's got that feel to it for the last, you know, 20 years, 30 years, okay. When you see this in a legal document or any kind of statement of, you know, intent, which is what this really is, you better doggone well look at the little asterisks. Now, look. Okay, let me increase the text so you can see it better. Okay. Here are the asterisks highlighted in black. Applying to Windows 10 released July 2015. 
these asterisks modify or affect how you read 2020 and 2025. So look at what the double asterisks say. Now I'm going to go through this slowly because it's legalese. And I do this for a living, but you know, if you don't, it's going to be like gibberish. All right, so I'll try to go slow. Updates are cumulative. And then they define what cumulative means. With each update built upon all of the updates that preceded it. In other words, from now on with Windows 10, this is different. Every update you get, you need to install because the next set of updates are going to be conditioned upon the last set of updates. That's not true with prior versions of Windows. That's going to become true with Windows 10. Okay? That's what cumulative means, highlighted now in sort of dark blue. That's what cumulative means. So they're being very careful to define the word cumulative so you understand it. Okay, now look, here's the next condition. A device needs to install, here, a device needs to install the latest update to remain supported. So it's not 2020 and it's not 2025 if you do not take the updates. If you do not take the updates, you do not get support. Let me repeat that. If you do not take the updates, you do not get support for Win 10. In other words, if you switch to Win 10 or you add Win 10 to your machine, unlike all the other Windows updates you had before, this one, you got to take every single update they give you doesn't matter if it borks your machine, it doesn't matter if you like it, it doesn't matter if it's relevant. If you're going to get continued support afterwards, you got to take all of the prior updates because they're changing the way they design the updates. Okay? So, updates are cumulative with each update built upon all the updates that preceded it. A device needs to install the latest update to remain supported. So you install Windows 10 today, and an update comes out six months from now, and you don't want it, that's when your support ends. Six months from now, not October 2020 or 2025. You get that? Now. Then there's an explanatory clause. Updates may include new features, fixes, security and or non-security, or a combination of both. And this is another departure with Windows 10. In prior Windows, you bought it, it was a complete system. You put it on your machine or you bought it with a machine. And any updates you got were really bug fixes or security fixes. Now they're saying, this is different, updates may include new features, fixes, or a combination of both. That's different in Windows 10. Okay? Now, then they go on to explain, not all features in an update will work on all devices. A device may not be able to receive updates if the device hardware is incompatible, lacking current drivers, or otherwise outside the OEM support period. And that's the killer. But let's go through what I just said so you understand it. These are four different separate things here. Updates may include new features. That's new. That was not in prior Windows. Fixes, security or not, meaning bugs or security fixes, or a combination of both. That's the old way is just fixes. The new way with Win 10 is new features, maybe. Okay, now, here's the next new thing. Not all features in an update will work on all devices. In other words, if they're going to program in a new feature for Windows Phone, and you're on 
a computer with Windows 10. The Windows Phone feature will not maybe work on your Windows 10 computer. That's fine, but you get it anyhow. All right? Now, then he says a device may not be able to receive updates if the device hardware is incompatible, meaning a lot of different things, technically. Meaning like, well, what if your sound card can't accept the update, can't apply it, can't use it? What if the update borks your sound card? Well, then the update is there, but it's not working on your machine. Okay? So then the question is, well, if the device hardware is incompatible, like let's say Windows updates sound drivers, and somehow that breaks your sound card, well, then you've got two choices. You can go get a new sound card or get new drivers. Okay? If you don't, then your sound card isn't going to work. So then your third alternative would be no more Windows updates. If you get no more Windows updates, because they're cumulative, you will not get any more. See, this is way before 2020 or 2025. It could be tomorrow. Okay? That's the first problem. Not all features will work on all devices. And then a device may not be able to receive updates if its hardware is incompatible. Example here being a sound card, could be a video card, some program. Well, this is just about hardware. Sound card, video card, something like that. All right. The next big problem is lacking current drivers. If Windows issues an update, that requires a driver that you don't have on your machine. You got two choices. Go get the driver. But if there is no driver, then you can't get any more updates. Okay? You either got to make your machine fit the updates or you can't get any more. And it doesn't matter about October 2020 or 2025. That could happen tomorrow. Okay? The next update you get could bork your drivers. So then it's like, okay, I got to go get different driver and you either do that or you don't get any more updates. Okay? Now here's the killer one. This is the one that I'm making such an issue of. The last condition that is pre-2020 that can kill your ability to get updates, okay, including security, which is why everybody does this, the last condition is an absolute killer, right here in blue. Or otherwise outside of the original equipment manufacturer's support period. What does that mean? Well, what kind of machine are you using right now to read, to watch my video? Are you using a phone? Are you using a tablet? Are you using a computer? In each of those three cases, you bought that phone or tablet or computer from somebody. Or maybe you got it as a gift. Okay. Who did you buy it from? Did you buy it from the original manufacturer? Answer, no. Well, then you don't have support from the original manufacturer. You might have support from the people who sold it to you. But what this is saying, highlighted in dark blue now, is that you need to have the support of the original equipment manufacturer. Okay, well, maybe you bought your machine from Dell directly, and therefore you got a three-year warranty on your new Windows machine. Okay, then your Windows 10 updates are limited to that warranty period because that's when Dell support ends. Now I don't know of anybody among the computer manufacturers who will allow you to have a warranty period beyond three years. It might be possible, but I don't know of it. Okay, so as long as your warranty period lasts 
from the original equipment manufacturer you bought your machine from, that's how long your updates last. Now, what if you didn't buy a warranty? What if you did what a whole lot of people do, is you go to like Best Buy or you go online at, e at eBay and you buy a used machine? Okay, well, sometimes that's not always true with Best Buy. If you don't take their extended service or whatever, you might have 90 days. 90 days. That means if you installed Win 10 or it's a Win 10 machine, your updates will last 90 days. Okay, and I'm not even sure if it'll last that long if you're buying, say, from Walmart or Best Buy. Because this is talking about the original equipment manufacturer, not the reseller. And it's even worse if you're buying a used machine. You know, almost all of my machines I bought from Dell, okay, but some of them are refurbished. Okay, but two of the machines I bought, I bought from eBay. Okay, the eBay guys who sold it to me, each one gave me a 30-day warranty. Okay, but that warranty is not good for this. If I put Win 10 machines, uh, if I put my machines on Windows 10 because of this clause highlighted in dark blue, I have no eligibility for updates. So the minute I bought that machine, those two machines on eBay, neither one of them are allowed to have the updates, but both of them are eligible for the installation of Windows 10. So I can install Windows 10, but I get no updates. Okay? And they even go down here and say that update availability may vary due to your hardware free disk space. So hi, if you don't have enough free disk space, you don't have enough room for the updates so you don't get them. Now notice these are pretty significant pretty significant limitations and they significantly alter the blind reading of oh I got I got Windows 10 support until 2020 or 2025. No you don't. Chances are you got no support. If you got a used machine look at this you got a used machine, you got no original equipment support. You bought it from somebody else. They might have had a warranty, but you don't. So then you can't get Windows 10 updates. You can get Windows 10 maybe, but not Windows 10 updates. You see how important this is? Okay? So then you have these questions which are not updated for Windows 10. So this whole thing is really hinging the most on that highlighted in blue. Is your machine older than three years? Did you buy it from the original equipment manufacturer? If the answer to the first question is yes, and the answer to the second question is yes, well, then your warranty is about to expire. And honey, you ain't going to get, you ain't going to be eligible for the updates until 2020. You ain't going to be eligible until 2025 for security patches. Ain't going to happen because of this clause right here highlighted in blue. Now, you know what's killing me about this? Is pundits, like at ZDNet, are not admitting to this language. This is Microsoft. This is not the pundits. This is the source right here, Microsoft.com. Okay? Why aren't they admitting? that this is in there. You can say, well, it just came out. Yeah, it just came out and they wrote all these letters. Oh, all these articles. Oh, Microsoft is going to support your hardware until it dies or for until 2020 or 2025. No. If you bought a new machine, you got maybe three years if you buy the warranty. If you bought a used machine, you got nothing. Think about it. 